So ADHD impulsivity then is, they often interrupt others. They're impulsive. So you know that little voice that you hear, think of Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, and that little voice that tells him, this isn't a good idea, Pinocchio. Maybe you shouldn't do this, Pinocchio. Yeah, they don't have that. There is no Jiminy Cricket. So anything in their mind that tells them maybe we should stop, maybe we should think about this, maybe that would be a stupid idea. They don't have that. So that voice is gone out of their head. That self-preservation isn't there. And yeah, let's try it and think about the consequences after. And it's not because they're daredevils. It's not because they think it. It's because literally they didn't think. Their brain didn't engage beforehand in the same way a normal person's would. Their brain engaged afterwards in the consequence stage of, ow, that hurt. Now, they may learn from that and not do that particular thing again, but they may do something similar because the brain doesn't quite engage again. Um, but you'll also find that they often have foot in mouth. They will blurt out whatever's in their head without a filter which can be a little bit antisocial at times rude funny extremely funny um and they'll struggle with turns and social norms social cues and knowing appropriate timings you'll often find they're quite late for things they're quite rarely early for things and then we have the hypermobility, uh, hyperactivity side of it. So people think hyperactivity is tigger. Uh, wonderful life is tigger, 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 tigger. Not always. Sometimes it can be excessively talking. They talk and talk and talk and talk. A bit like me, sorry. Um, they struggle when it's quiet because they need to keep moving. They can often forget things and they need to keep repeating things. They fidget constantly fidgeting can't just sit still uh, even as such as a tapping of the foot or a movement of the hand or a finger or even just keep looking around the room constantly unable to sit still that is hyperactivity so as you can see it's slightly different to what you may have thought and again another one maybe that they struggle to shift from task to task um these things don't just stay in childhood, they stay in adulthood. We're seeing a lot of adults diagnosed with this now who are going, wow, my world's just made so much more sense. It used to be known as naughty child syndrome. It isn't anymore. It should never have been known as that. Part three coming up.